What's good with y'all, man? You watching AGTV, and on this episode, we got a little bit of a sticky situation, man. Uh, this guy sent to me on Instagram, this situation right here. And I guess, long story short, it was a situation with Tanan. What's her name? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm real bad with names, man. Y'all know I'm real bad with names. So I guess it was a situation with Tananya and Quite Perry, where they basically, I guess they got a podcast, or they was doing some type of show with each other, and they were just... Or actually, I think she a YouTuber. I think they was on YouTube. And I guess they were raiding people's costumes at Carnival. They was raiding people's outfits at Carnival. And um, I guess it came down to a specific young lady. And I don't know her, her name exactly, but I don't want to mess it up. Let me see if I can find out her name. So I'm guessing it was a young lady named Trisan, and she had a costume on. And they was raiding her... I don't know if y'all call them costumes or just call them outfits or whatever, but I guess they was raiding her outfit. And I guess... I mean, it wasn't... She didn't take it well, and I don't know. We about to watch it, though. I did watch the clips already, but it's more so just like a reiteration, like basically just reminding myself and letting y'all know, like, you feel me? I don't know, bro. But let's see what it's talking about. So right here, she was basically saying she feel like her costume was incomplete. I think she said something about a backpack, like her not wearing a backpack or whatever. I didn't even know it was a certain criteria that people looked at when it came to carnival and people's outfits. I didn't know it was that big of a deal. But later on in the video, we're going to get into all that about like the standards and all that. I didn't know it was that. I didn't know that was a thing. So this is all new to me. I thought carnival was just a place where everybody go have fun. Like it ain't no judgment. Like I just thought it was just an open and free place. But it's people that got different takes on this that actually live in Jamaica. So... We're going to get into all that too, but let's just keep watching. Francisco, I will only ever be wearing complete. I will only ever be The fact that you had to sing that her costume was incomplete is crazy, bro. The, 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 the vocal cords to express the incompleteness of this woman's costume is crazy. Wearing this by itself, so if I treated that day too, what do you think of her wearing a bodysuit alone? No, this is like in a Monday one. Monday one, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Now, before we get into the end of this and we start to get into the way everybody else felt about what they just said right here about her costume, I want to say this. I don't feel like they were trying to be a certain way. I think that they're content creators. And in the midst of them being content creators, something was taken the wrong way. The same way you would talk to your friends with no cameras on, the same way you talk to your family members when ain't nobody around. You say certain things about certain people, whether it be celebrities, people in your life, whatever. You say certain things to those people that you know will be perceived offensive if certain people were to hear it. So with them being on the internet, they might just be expressing their opinions on their outfit. Like It's just like a regular thing that people do. People express their opinions on what people see other people do. Like when you go out, if you see somebody wearing something crazy, if you with your friend, you're going to be like, dang, look at what she wearing. like, Or look at what he wearing. Like You're going to mention it. That's just what you do with your friends. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not like necessarily defending what they said, but me personally, I mean, this is, like I said, I just think this is just a result or like this is just a side effect of the internet at the end of the day. Okay, so now, so now we getting into um, Trisan's actual response. Now we getting into Trisan's response. So I guess she had seen what they said, and she had something to say back. I guess she didn't take it too lightly. She wasn't feeling it. It rubbed it the wrong way. So let's see what she had to say. Stop me from having a good experience. I have to remember, carnival is an experience. Some people go there for the pictures. Some people go there for just the good vibe. That's more me. So personally, rocking the costume is good enough for me. You're lucky you never see me in a t-shirt and shorts. It is not that serious. So basically what she's saying is she feel like it's not that big of a deal to her. Like she, she feel like, matter of fact, before we, before I even, I'm going to just let this ride. I ain't even about to, let me just, let me just finish this real quick. But you just have to remember, people go to carnival for different reasons, different experiences, different aspects of carnival that they really like. 
So they're entitled to their opinion. But you know the point that I really want to touch on too. I feel like with social media, and this is what this is a part of social media that I don't necessarily love. People just want to see somebody that talk something bad about you. And you see everybody kinda join in and add them two cents. All we never have a backbone to see it from before. No, no, they never did have the backbone to comment and say me if you like this thing complete underneath the post them. So she basically feel like what they saying is it's Basically, what she's saying is everybody go to carnival for different reasons, and she don't feel like she should have been criticized based on her costume because in her heart she really didn't care. That's not what she go to carnival for. She good she there to have a good time. She ain't there to be like the center of attention. That's what she's saying in her words. Now, me personally, y'all know I got to keep it real on the channel. I think that she wanted to look good. Of course, I think she wanted to look good. She was half naked. Like, come on. Like, we gonna keep it real. I think she wanted to look good. Me personally, I thought she looked great. I'm not from Jamaica, so I don't know. Like I said, the standards and criteria of the costumes, I didn't know it was that big of a deal. But me personally, like, I thought she looked good. If I would have seen her, I would have been like, damn. You know, I would have looked at her. You know what I'm saying? I know me, so I know I would have thought she looked good. But she's saying, basically, lucky I ain't pull up in a, in a in shorts and a t-shirt. And I don't think she would have really ever did that, even though she planned like she would have did that. I don't think she would have ever did that. Because if you would have ever did that, you wouldn't have came in what you wore. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think she over-exaggerated that part. But at the end of the day, man, um, she basically saying she didn't, she not take, she didn't take it too serious. You feel me? I don't know. I thought she looked good though. So. But as soon as them people here want to glorify them. Okay, so that was that. That was the end of what she had to say. Um, and me personally, I feel like she was pretty to me. She looked good to me. If somebody on the internet has something to say about something you posted on the internet, I think that you can't have, you can't be. You gotta have thick skin when you post anything on the internet, especially if you're if you have a platform big enough to where people could pick it up on blog sites. You can't be mad at you know what I mean. You put it out there, you know what I'm saying. And I thought I thought you look good. And if you think if you think you look good, I don't even think it deserved a response. But you do what you feel. I'm not mad at it. So on the next clip we about to watch, um, there was a lady. I don't know exactly who this lady is. I don't know if she's just a random person on Instagram. I don't know if she's big in Jamaica or wherever she's from. I don't know. So y'all gotta please excuse me if I should know her name, but I don't. I just I just never seen this woman. So um the next woman we about to watch, she's basically telling the reasons why she doesn't like carnival, the reasons why she's against going to carnival and she's never been to carnival. So let's see what she has to say. I think she said she was born somewhere else also, and she was but she was raised in Jamaica. Something like that, but we about to see. I know them. Stop on the racing carnival bodies list. And this is exactly my friends, why Jamaican carnival spirit has never taken me i am cuban i live in jamaica and in the 21 years that i've been living in jamaica i have never jumped carnival and every time people in a in a social media come and ask me for you jumping for you me not even attend the thing. my spirit don't take this now me is not here for express oh them mean and them this and them that this video by Kwai Perry and their friend and his friends is a result of what Jamaican Carnival is all about. And this is the reason why I don't like it. It's just a display of wealth. It's a display of who can flex their wallet more. It's a display of who has the better body. It's a display of just beer, superficial, egocentric, unnecessary now this is a very interesting take because I, like I told y'all before I would have never guessed that people would have looked at carnival like this because when people talk to me about carnival it's like people look at it when they talk to me at least they describe it as a fun place where people go and be free people can just go be themselves. and I didn't know that you even had to pay to get in certain parts of carnival I didn't know that I didn't know it was a thing where you could pay to have like certain VIP sections and all this other stuff this is all new to me I just found this out either yesterday or the day before that I thought it was a place where everybody go and they all in the same general population, no matter who you are. That's how I'm thinking. I'm not thinking it's like you pay to get into certain areas and things like that. I didn't know that was like a, a thing. You know what I'm saying? But to her point, she's saying she don't like the fact that it's people flexing their wallets and it's all about who got this and who got that. I mean, I understand that. But I feel like in the world, it's just like certain things. I mean, that's kind of what the world is. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I've never been to Carnival to really have too much of an opinion. I don't even know, like, 
I don't even have an opinion because I've never been there. You know what I'm saying? So it's just interesting to hear the different perspectives, though. Where I come from, and in most places in Central and Latin, and Latin America, Carnival is the one occasion where everybody gets together. It doesn't matter your background. It doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter where you live. It doesn't matter your last name. Nothing. It is the one time a year where everybody gather and everybody wine together and everybody has a wonderful time. And then it is the one time a year where you have different clashes between communities and see if they have they keep little competitions and then you have the carnival queen and, and you have everything. So in my opinion, and I have come to understand this now because I came to Panama during carnival season. Although I didn't go in at the carnival, I got to experience it from the outside. And I realized that Jamaican carnival in my opinion, Cuban, living in Jamaica, I'm not born and raised Desto, okay? So she's Cuban. Jamaican carnival is a party. There is a party that I keep in a Jamaica named Carnival. It is not a carnival. If you dive a little bit deeper and you search Brazil, Panama, uh, Colombia, any, anywhere in Latin Cuba, it is something kept by the masses, for the masses. And in most countries, like I learned, I was told in Panama, Carnival is all funded by the government mainly, right? So... See, now I didn't even... See, I didn't know none of that. I didn't know it was funded by the government. I didn't know a lot of this stuff. You know, it's like, like I said, from the outside looking in, if you don't know no better, you will feel like when you see it, it just looked like a place where everybody went and everybody got done up together and they just... Mix, they just mixed in. I didn't know it was like you pay to get in certain areas and this, that, and the third. So I guess I kind of understand, but I haven't, like I said, I haven't been to different parts of the world because she's saying she's if she compares Carnival to other places in the world, other places in the world is is the example of what I just said. Like people just coming together, being together. And she was saying in comparison to Jamaica, Jamaica isn't like that though. Jamaica, you got to pay to do this, pay to do that. You got to look the part and be all this stuff. But she's saying that other parts of the world, it's really more free than that. It's really people that just come out together and no matter who you are, you can have fun. So she's comparing to different places. And I think it's interesting because, like I said, I never thought about it or looked at it from that perspective. But I don't know. This video was the perfect example of what Jamaican Carnival is about and what Jamaican Carnival stands for. This is a reason why I have never been to it, because I feel bad about the segregation. I feel bad about the classism that comes with carnival. I do not know this, but the one time I, this, I said I was going to participate, I was told that there is a rope. And if you don't pay to be a part of certain band, you cannot pass that rope. So that means that if you don't have the money, and as Tracy said in her video, which that was so girl you don't need to explain yourself to nobody you dress any way you want you wear what you want you have fun how you don't have to explain why is it that you didn't have a backpack now i ain't gonna lie that's how i felt because i was like i don't even know why she felt like she had to respond to it because you look good to me and i mean whatever somebody say on the blogs i mean if you made it to a blog or whatever it is what it is just let it be what it is you know what i'm saying you must have made some type of impact for them to even pick it up because you look good to me you feel me I feel like if you was confident in what you wore enough to put it online, you shouldn't even care about the rest. Like, you did what you did, and you wore what you wanted to wear, and that's it. And I, I'm pretty sure you had a good time, and I know people was looking at you. I know dudes was looking at you. I know you was catching a lot of attention. Leave it at that, you feel me? But I can't blame somebody for the way they react to what somebody did to them either. So I ain't here to say she, she wrong for responding, but I definitely feel like she didn't need to respond. Like... And then Kuiper and his friends said it very well in their video, like, you don't even have to do it for us. Like, we are just here, like, fooling around. Like, they basically sent in an apology before the video even went out because it just it's just content at the end, at the end of the day. Me not take no side. Me not say what they did was correct. But I am here to give you my outside view. Yeah, so that was that. So I guess after... Um, so I guess after the clip I showed y'all where the girl was re was responding to what they said initially, like the girl that was actually talking about when she responded to what they said initially, I guess they had caught wind of that. And then they decided that they were going to, um, 
apologized publicly for talking about what she was wearing um, to Carnival. And I'm pretty sure it's because they got a lot of backlash. They probably didn't even overthink it at first. They probably didn't expect the backlash they were getting. Like I said, that's just a side effect of the internet. You say certain things that people don't take the right way. And one thing about the internet, you don't know what people are going to feel about what you say or do. Same thing with music. Whenever you put out a song, how many artists you heard say, it's always the song that you don't like that blow up? How many artists have you heard say, every artist say that? Oh yeah, they, that song blew up. I didn't even know they was gonna like that one. Like I thought it was gonna be this song. Like it's the same thing with social media, the internet, like like content creation, influencers, everything like that. You're gonna say certain things that you're not gonna expect people to take certain ways, and you gotta accept what come with that if you want to be on the internet influencing people. Um, not even influencing people, but if you want to be a content creator in general, like you have to understand, like you're gonna have certain situations that are gonna be uncomfortable to you because it's like, dang, they took that the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? I didn't mean it like that. I wasn't trying to be like that. But people don't understand your humor sometimes. People don't understand your personality. People don't understand the way you grew up even. So it's like, you gotta understand that when it comes to the internet, man. So um, the next clip we're gonna watch is, um, I don't even know how to, I always, I don't know how to say her name. It's like, Todd, Todd what's her name? Tania, 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 Tania. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Tanania. So now you're about to uh, apologize, so we about to uh, watch that. Hi guys, so by now I know most of you have heard of or have seen the video that I posted on my YouTube channel titled Rating Carnival Bodies. Now I have seen a lot of the conversation and heard a lot of the chatter online and I'm here to actually apologize for that video because I feel the intent of it is being misread. It was never a video to belittle anyone to make anyone feel small, to make anyone feel less than or less loved. I am somebody who promotes positivity in all aspects and I realized that the content of the video and the comments may make persons feel negatively. And for that, I apologize. This is specifically to Trisane. The comments that were made were never geared to you personally. Um, they were lighthearted coming from us, um, but I do see where we've caused you some harm and some pain. And for that, anybody who has felt any sort of way negatively from that video, I apologize. So, I, me personally, I can't really even fault her for real. I can't say nothing bad about her because imagine if I would have did that video. Imagine if I would have been the one rating the, the carnival baddies. Imagine if it was me. Imagine if I seen a, a, a woman that I felt like I ain't like her outfit like that. Y'all know how I would have been. I would have just told y'all the honest truth how I felt. Like, and I wouldn't care what the backlash was. Like, that's just me though. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is different though. Like, certain people who have YouTube channels, podcasts, they take criticism differently. They have a different way they had it. They have a different vision for their future. You know, they might want to be on certain talk shows one day. They might want to be on certain upper echelons of connections with certain people one day. Me personally, I don't even care about that. As long as I can make me some money, I can get to a point where I'm financially free. I don't really care about who like me and who don't like me. That's just me as a person. So naturally, I'm not going to feel like what she said was that crazy because I know what I would say. You feel what I'm saying? But I respect her for the, for the simple fact that she had it in her to apologize publicly if she felt like she was wrong. But at the end of the day, man, like like I said, I don't feel like she said nothing too crazy. I just feel like sometimes you say certain certain things that you don't expect people to take and take out of proportion so bad. Because I just said things 30 times worse than what they said on multiple videos. Y'all know this. But I just think it's my personality and who I am. And um, the people that actually support me, they understand. And I'm not as big as she is, like... And when I say as big as she is, she she has a way broader audience than I do. A lot of a lot more people know her than they know me as far as YouTube goes. So it's like, I don't know what my response would be if I was on her level. But at the end of the day, I probably wouldn't care. Like honestly, I probably the wouldn't care. The video has since been removed from my channel, and I will not be doing any more of those videos. I thank you so much for teaching me that lesson you're saying because it is something that I needed to learn. That some comments, whilst you may have meant it positively, can be misread. So, for you guys who watched it. Hi guys, so. So this is uh, Quiet Perry, I guess. I guess he uh, did an apology too. So I'm gonna just show his apology next. Hi guys, so in light of a recent video that was posted on Tanania's channel, Rating Carnival Baddies, featuring myself and TC, 
I've seen the conversations, I've seen the comments, I've seen the tweets, I've seen the threads, and much like everything else in my life, I do a lot of reflecting. And I can honestly say that, uh uh-uh, Rowan, that was not it. What you did was not it. And as well intended as things may be in life, you have no control over how people receive things and I do believe that you should apologize, you should take accountability and you should be responsible, you know? And for that, I just want to come forward and say that in making a video of that nature was a very poor choice, you know? That Wait, now I'm confused. I thought he was part of the video though. All right, we're going to skip his part because I'm confused on that. I thought he was part of the video. But he I, is he saying that she, is he talking about the one that just apologized? I'm just, I'm, I'm not even about to watch. We're going to skip him. We're going to skip him because I don't, his video was long too. Dang, boy, you right in the, uh, hold on. All right, so the next clip we about to watch is the girl again that they was talking about with the costume on and they said she needed the backpack. She made another video. And basically, she's concluding the whole situation. It's the last thing she's saying about the situation. And she's accepting um, Tanania's apology, I believe, on this video. So, um, let's get into it. Guys, I just want to use this opportunity to truly conclude things. I've seen where Tanania has apologized and to which I've accepted her apology. Um, but I just want to use this opportunity to use this entire experience to highlight a particular thing. And this goes for me too. When it comes to this, when it comes to social media, what you say, even if it's a joke, may have some weight to it. You may not mean ill to it, but especially as an influencer, the people who look up to you, look up to what you have to say, may run with it. And that sometimes is where the harm is. You have to sometimes be mindful of the power that you have, the power that your words have. Sometimes your followers, they hold it to a standard. Anything that you do, they don't see it as wrong. And we start to normalize certain things. And personally, I know the media is not a safe space, but I wish it was. You can issue out your opinion, you know, but do it in a manner that it doesn't turn on being something negative, especially if you're going to single out someone. So, I don't know. I'm kind of in the middle on this situation, man, because honestly, like I said before, man, people are going to have something to say regardless of how you feel. You know, if you post anything online, especially if you have some type of following, it's like, it's what do you, what do you think is going to happen? Because... It just depends on the person, you know what I mean? Like, you can get online and get mad about something, or you can get online and feel your, your type of way and, res and respond to something, but at the end of the day, you put it out there, and um, that doesn't give anybody a free pass to feel like they should be able to talk any type of way about you, but I feel like they were just giving their opinion, but at the same time, it's like, if you know that you want to keep a certain image, you probably shouldn't say certain things about certain people if you're scared of that backlash. So that's where I feel like they was wrong at. Because if you're not going to stand on what you said based on what other people think, don't even say it. That's my thing with them. Then when it come down to her, it's like, you put it out there, they gave their opinion on it, then you got upset just because it wasn't in your favor. Which is, I mean... I don't know. I just feel like... I just only reason why I feel like she kind of wrong in the way she thinking is because at the end of the day, you still dealt with the repercussions of your actions, which was to put yourself out there online when you're half naked at a carnival. Like, I'm not saying that's wrong, but you know you open yourself up for all type of opinions. Like if I was the judge carnival and I was to say the same thing they said about you and you got online and got mad at me, I wouldn't care. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I wouldn't care. I wouldn't be mad. I'll probably make a video about it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now, that what I, is that to say I wouldn't maybe apologize? I probably would apologize for making you feel bad or for um, rubbing you the wrong way. I'll probably apologize for that. But I wouldn't apologize for what I said because I meant it. That's my personality. That's who I am. So she kind of got lucky with the people that did the podcast or whatever with Tanani or whatever, the YouTube channel. She got lucky with them because their personality... They felt like they needed to apologize. So it went a lot smoother than it could have went. 
with somebody like me, if I was big enough to have an opinion that everybody would have heard, and she would have came at me like that, we probably would have been online beefing. Not real beef, because, you know, online beef, it ain't real. I wouldn't really be beefing with a girl online, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't like, be overly apolog apologetic. I would, I would apologize for making her feel better. I don't want to make nobody feel better, especially not a lady. But um, at the end of the day, I just feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you put yourself out there for that. And uh, literally, our jobs are to get online and give our opinions. So that's what we do, you know what I mean? So if we always saying good things about everything, it, we lose authenticity. We got to give our true opinions on, st on certain stuff. And it's just like a thing where, you know, the, the, the world ain't perfect. So you get cert certain situations like this, you know what I'm saying? I don't think nobody necessarily wrong, but it is what it is. In my case, I said what I said that they're entitled to their opinion. But it's just the comments that come with it. I never asked to be included. I know persons are taking things far, further than it needs to go. And me just not like that. Me just, me, me, me just not like that because I never asked for that attention. But the fact that they use the opportunity to... But see, you did when you posted it, though. You did when you posted it, though. You didn't post it on private. You didn't send it to your close friends. You posted it. You did ask for that attention. And that's what I want people to understand about social media, man. You don't get to pick and choose what people say about you. You don't get to pick and choose who sees you. You don't get to pick and choose any of that. If you post something, I don't care if you had one follower. You could mess around and, and catch the bad luck of somebody re reposting it and everybody seeing it. Because that's just the way the internet is. That's just the way life is. If you put yourself out there to be judged, if you don't get the response you want, you still ask for that, whether you know it or not. You get what I'm saying? So that's that's my thing with this whole, that's my whole thing with this situation. You feel me? Like, that's my thing. So, apologize. I asked for this before. Grace. Sometimes you don't even understand the standard that we are held to. So when we make certain mistakes, allow us to learn from it. So I can only hope that they really learn from what really transpired. And I just want to say thank you for everybody who defend me and allow them to see from a different light. Again, social media is not a safe space, but we can make it better than what it was before. And that's just my two cents. Anyways, we're back to regular programming. That is it. We've ha we've concluded this whole thing. If you don't want to add anything, you can add it, but me done. Concluded. That's it. Moving right along. And, it and she real pretty, too. She's super pretty. It is. Bye for now, guys. You know what I'm saying? Pretty young lady. You know what I'm saying? Just know if you put something out though, people, are, you know, people gonna make their content. You know what I'm saying? No, guys. I don't even remember what this was. Trying to card on influence fashion show growing up. Okay, so I don't know exactly who this girl is. I say eight seven six Kales or something. Or right, TikTok, but um, basically what happened was I guess if you read this comment, it say this is the comment I guess they were saying. I don't know, but she's responding to this comment. It said, y'all are trying to turn Carnival into an influencer fashion show. Growing up, Carnival was for everyone, rich, poor, anybody. Another point, try, another point, try taking Carnival out of KNG. What's KNG? I guess Kingston. I don't know if it's Kingston. To Mo Bay maybe once. Okay, so she about to respond to that. Basically, I believe she about to say something to the, to the fact of... Um, if you pay for what you if, if you pay for something, you deserve what you pay for. And that's the most I'm gonna say. I don't really remember exactly what she said, but we about to watch it. I'm not surprised that's all by this comment. Like I knew you guys were going to come on my video and try to make it seem like I'm being stush and I don't like people and carnival is only for the rich and the elite. No. Carnival is for everybody. However, if you paid one thousand dollars US to be there, you deserve to be in a different section than the people who did not pay. It's not right for people who paid so much money to be mixing in the same area and cannot get to breathe because there's people who did not pay in that area. It's not right. You guys did not pay. Normally, there is a rope. And everybody who wants to see Carnival who did not pay can see it from the outside. You can join the Carnival from the outside. You can be at the back, the sides, and everybody enjoy. But only people who pay should be within the ropes, within the means that the band has made, the band that you pay your money to. I don't piss me off and come with fuckery in my comments. Okay, so 
She basically saying if you pay to get in a certain section of the carnival, you should be in that section. And people who didn't pay, they shouldn't be in that section because I paid a thousand dollars for a reason. These people who didn't pay, if they're in this section, I pay, I feel like I paid this thousand dollars for no reason because people who didn't pay are literally standing right by me. If I paid a thousand dollars to get somewhere, I'm with her a thousand percent. Like no ifs, ands, or buts. If I pay a thousand dollars for anything, I should feel like I got my money's worth. If I if I see people who didn't pay standing with me. And I know they didn't pay. I'm going to feel like I, I wasted my money. Like, they're doing the same thing I'm doing. I paid $1,000 because I wanted to get to a different point of what I thought. Like, I, I thought I had to pay to get here, basically. Long story short. It's the same thing with a concert. It's the same thing with anything. You want to get in there, you got to pay. You want to meet the artist, you got to pay. You want to be in certain sections, you got to pay. You want to be closer to the stage, you got to pay. That's how life is. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm with her on that 1,000%. So, I guess people were saying that... <clears throat> I guess people was getting mad at her because I, I think she was saying that... uh. I think she was like complaining about the fact that it was people like where she was when she paid for that section. And I'm not mad at her because it feel like she wasted her money. I know what that feel like. So I ain't mad at that. Like, I don't know. I don't know. This uh, this this whole little thing that I'm watching right now, this whole narrative that's going on right now about Carnival is like crazy. Because I would have never thought that it was like all this stuff. I, I would have never thought. Oh, and also I can bet that everybody commenting this has never paid for Carnival a day in their fucking life. So... Yeah, she mad though. She mad. The people who jumped and experienced it agree with me. So all of you guys who just want to have something for like young one because you, you you weren't there. Yeah, so that was. I mean, that was the whole situation. I don't really got no type of size. I'm trying to pick or nothing like that. I already told y'all how I felt about the whole thing. Both sides had like pros and cons to what they did. I think it's just all about your mindset. Like I said, if you on the side of. To Tanya, I don't know how to say her. Her name is so hard to remember. Tanan, what? Your name got a lot of syllables. With Tanania, if you're on Tanania's side, it's like, when you look at her perspective, it's like, you said something online, and I feel like if you that type of person that would feel a way if people was mad at you, you shouldn't say certain things. You shouldn't have a controversial outlook or input on anything. You shouldn't say anything against anything anybody does if you feel like you're going to have to apologize whenever you get backlash. Um... Then from the girl's perspective, like if you put an image out, people are subject. People are gonna have opinions, and you don't know what that opinion can manifest into. So if you're if you don't like when people say certain things about you, you probably just shouldn't put certain things out. Just go have a good time. Don't post it. You know what I mean? That's just how I personally feel. Now me, like I said, if it was me and I said what I said, and you got mad and made that same video, you wouldn't have got an apology out of me. The same when you got out of her, you might have got an apology for me for me making you feel a certain type of way. I might have apologized for that, but I would have not apologized for what I said. So it's just like, I don't know, at the end of the day, it's, it's crazy. Everybody got different opinions on it. Like I said, I didn't know Carnival had this narrative to it. But uh, yeah, man, go ahead, comment down below. Let me know what y'all think, man. Who was right? Who was wrong? Was I tripping? You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I don't know. So go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you react to next. I'm out.